Fair warning, this is gonna be one of those videos where I make stuff and the camera gets really close to my hands and I'm a nail biter and uh, tend to have pretty stumpy, not very attractive fingers. And it's something I'm really sensitive about, so please don't be too mean in the comments, okay? G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw With... Something's off, hang on. That's it. Okay, there we go. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza, and today we're gonna to be having some fun with polymer clay. Yay! Now, fair warning, I have never used this stuff before in my life, but I've seen a lot of people have a lot of fun with it, and it just seems really cool. Today it's really about, I guess, uh, familiarizing myself with the material and just seeing how it feels and, and having a bit of fun with it. That being said, before we get started, I thought I'd show off a little bit of what some people in my community have done with polymer clay. Someone in my community sent me this and it's absolutely amazing. This is a two scale tiny version of the Jazz Axe, which is uh, the, the big axe made in collaboration with the folks over at Punish Props. They made this with polymer clay. How cool is this thing? It's like, it even detaches like the original. As you can see, See, you can make cool little props. They're fairly flexible and durable. This was made by Sarah, AKA Scribble Fix. Now this is based, I believe on a, what's this thing, a Funko. So I believe this is like polymer clay around an actual model. Sarah slash Scribble Fix made a really cool little Jazza avatar character, which I love. I'm very lucky to have a community that are just so creative and so generous. If you haven't checked out Sarah's channel, she's got this really cool little art channel where she makes videos every week. In fact, just checking it out now, it looks like she's doing a couple of videos a week and She's really crafty and artsy, so I can highly recommend subscribing to her. I'll put a link in the card in the description. Last but not least, I will also recommend another YouTuber who I don't have anything from her with me. I mean, that's not strictly true. I do have the teeny tiny little art book she made for me, but uh, that's not Paula McClay, but she does a lot of stuff with Paula McClay. So go check out Nerdy Crafter, who's another fantastic art YouTuber who does a lot with Paula McClay. In fact, if you go to her channel and search polymer, there's a whole bunch of results. I'll link to that search result so you can just check out all of the Paula McClay stuff style videos on, on uh, Nerdy Crafters channel. And of course, subscribe while you're there because love for the art community is love for everyone. I don't know, is that a freight? I don't know, I'm just talking crap at this point. So this is the stuff I'm using. This is Fimo Polymer Clay. I've just gone off the recommendations that I can find off of other people who actually do know what they're doing. I have a whole bunch of miscellaneous other stuff I'm gonna play around with. So I have some varnish. I have this thing, the Sculpey Clay Roller. I guess just the, the um, physicality of it being not too, I don't know, that stuff won't stick to I have no idea. I'm just, I'm buying things that say they'll do the job so I feel more empowered than I feel not knowing what I'm doing. This is like a glue. Now from what I've read and heard, you can use this stuff to glue baked to baked clay or baked to unbaked clay or unbaked clay to unbaked clay. So in theory, it's, uh, I don't know, versatile. These are Citadel sculpting tools from Warhammer lineup of stuff. And I even got some Warhammer and Citadel paints and uh, clippers and a brush here just because I like Warhammer and it's familiar to me and uh, apparently you can paint polymer clay. Sometimes people ask me in comments of a video if I've ever played Warhammer. To that I have one thing to not say. Yes indeed, I used to collect Warhammer, specifically Warhammer 40k, and if you're wondering, I collected the Blood Angels. Fun fact, I sold my entire collection of Warhammer, all carefully painted and lovingly collected over many years, when I was 22, because I couldn't pay the bills and wanted to keep doing YouTube for a living. I guess it paid off in the end, which is really good, but I was like dead broke and my Warhammer collection dug me out of a ditch. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna have a bit of an experiment with this clay stuff. I just wanna fiddle around with the substances, mix a couple of things and make a few tiny little uh, random, not very well made things and just bake them and see how that goes just so I can get an idea as to the process and uh, we'll just take it from there.
All right, everyone, I'm back. Thanks for waiting. So I have here some freshly baked treats. Gosh darn it, there's nothing I love more than baking me some treats. Let's take a look. I seriously haven't had a look at any of these. And like I said, I've never baked uh, polymer clay before, so I don't know how sturdy it is. The box says here to uh, bake for 30 minutes at uh, 110 degrees Celsius. Now I baked for about 45 minutes at 90 degrees Celsius. So I just, I didn't want to risk burning or creating any discoloration. And from what I read online or have looked up, you can spend longer cooking it at a lower temperature just to be safe. Let's just break apart our experiment here. Now keep in mind, this isn't the finished state of these projects. Uh, this is just my halfway point of my experiment, though it is looking like they've come together pretty well. They're pretty cute. Look at these cute little thingies. So as you can see, there's uh, bits that still need to be glued together and there are bits that still need to be broken apart. But let's start off with the uh, the first thing that we made. It's a little asymmetrical. I look like a little bit like the guy from Heroes and Rocky Balboa, you know, that sort of, anyway. So I got a bit of that look going on, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with how the sculpt looks. This feels pretty solid. It doesn't feel like like a rock hard, like really rough texture. It feels almost plasticky. So here's the head. There's a little bit of painting I'm gonna do to, just to finish up my sample head sculpt. Otherwise I did uh, <laughs> some jewelry. So these here, these are lovely earrings. Who knows, I might varnish these up and make them nice and shiny. And I guess you could, uh, let's say this is like an earring hook thing. I don't know how earrings work. You hook it on your ears. There. It's a friggin' earring. Beautiful. <laughs> I do know that people do use polymer clay for jewelry and, and uh, beads and all that stuff. Obviously not something I have great instincts with, but I just thought I'd try everything I could try. So this is my attempt at beads. They've been hooked through the middle with armature wire and I just need to, whoop, there we go, get them off uh, just by twisting them and then just pulling them off individually. I had cut them before uh, I put them in the oven to bake. Now they're going to look pretty rough. Like I said, this isn't a finished state of all this stuff. There's going to be some varnishing. These things can be sanded back. I don't know if these are a success or not. I don't wear bead polymer clay jewelry, but I thought I'd attempt. They're cool colors and um, and cool, cool swirls. I had this random leftover stuff, so I thought I'd try and make a dice out of it. Um, obviously it's not a very even dice, so I, I'm gonna attempt to smooth that out. But then we have these parts, and this is the sort of thing that I randomly thought of at the end that I really like the idea of. So we have a mini paintbrush, we have a mini pencil. Now this doesn't look like much yet, but I'm going to stick the uh, eraser on one end after I chop a bit of the end off and I'm going to even out this here and paint it up a bit and that will eventually look like a pencil. And then we have my attempt at a stylus for a drawing tablet. So all these three together will eventually, like I said, look like art supplies. I even baked this teeny, teeny, tiny little stylus nib, <laughs> which I'm going to stick on there later. So this, like I said, is my little past halfway part of the project, but I just wanted to, to take a break there and show you what I got so far. But I'm going to see how refined and finalized I can make my little sample project look. And uh, I guess I'll return and report. All right, the time has come to reveal my final dabbling project. I, I don't know, you tell me how you think it went. I had a lot of fun. I think they're kind of cool, but they're also, again, it's dabbling. So um, hopefully it hints to the possibilities of some cool stuff happening in a future project. So let's start off with the most underwhelming things. We have these um, earrings. Then we have these beads. Now, I haven't seen them in context yet, so I'm just gonna randomly shuffle them and thread them. Ah, uh, there you go. Hey! 
Hey, that's not the worst thing in the world. Even from someone who's not a fashion designer. That's kind of cool. I can imagine that if you're into like making or wearing bead things, you could like do different color combinations. Oh my goodness, I'm a fashion designer now. Oh, and also I made this uh, cube. It's a ugly cube. Yay. <laughs> All right, moving on to the two cooler little projects. First, let's go to our little mini art supplies. Oh, look at this. So we have the paintbrush. Now you'll notice that the, uh, the actual painted tip of the brush is varnished. So it looks like it's wet. We have the pencil. Doing the lines along the, uh, the shaft of the pencil was difficult, but because they didn't go down fully, it ended up looking kind of faint, which I think looks a bit better than if they were really solid lines. And then after the pencil, we have the little stylus. Oh, this is cool. I also varnished the tip of the stylus pen and the, uh, the gray around the clicky button thing to make them look like plastic and metal. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. Why am I talking like this? I don't know, but this is so fun. Yeah, this is pretty freaking adorable. Okay, <laughs> this is really cool. I feel like I want more of these. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have the Jazz of Face. Again, <laughs> I'm gonna like ask for forgiveness every time I do a random art challenge or video where I do a Jazz avatar, but at the same time, I don't know, it feels like my way of trying something out is, hmm, how does it look as a Jazz avatar? The only regret I have with this is that the shade color I mixed up for the skin is just a little too dark, uh, but it's not that bad. It ends up coming out all right. And I guess from a distance, you know, it sort of looks more like detail or whatever. With this one, I've added a little bit of that varnish over the eyes and the teeth, just so that they look slightly wet, like eyes and teeth are. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably the smallest batch of things I've ever sculpted. As you can see, in relation to the size of my hands, getting the details in on these things looking anyway decent took a bit of time and at some times was frustrating, but the end result, I really love. This was a lot of fun. Let me know how I went, but also in the comments below, I want you to let me know what bigger project I could do. I've done this sort of thing before. I did a dabbling with the 3D pen video before I did my epic 3D pen uh, video. So leave some cool comments and suggestions and feedback and I'm gonna go through those in another video and make something as epic as I possibly can. I must say, just for some dabbling, I love this. Like this is really cool. Like looking at them all together there, I worried about getting something substantial done today and technically, it's all so small that it doesn't really feel substantial, but at the same time, when you look at them all together, look at him! Oh, look at it all together! It's so cute! Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> that brings us to the end of my little experiment and the end of this video. So before you go, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and of course, hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to the Artie Party yet. Join us here on Draw With Jazza. We have a lot of fun with art of all different kinds, including, apparently, Polymer Clay, which we're gonna have some more fun with in the future. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.